so you know a little bit about me. I have been a coach for three years officially this month. I'm coming up on my three-year anniversary. Um, I'm a 12-star diamond, two-time elite coach, and this business has totally changed everything about my life. Um, when I came into this business, was had no self-esteem. Uh, I hated my body. I hated my life. I hated my job then, and just nothing, nothing was going right. Um, and we were, my husband and I were financially struggling. Both of us have advanced degrees, and we had over two hundred and forty thousand dollars in student loan debt. And so when I came into this business, I came in to work. And that is my first piece of advice for any new coach or anyone, you know on the sidelines thinking about doing this is that the this process works. What you see all these these other coaches sharing in the Beachbody Champions page, this stuff actually works. So I challenge all of you to do a trust fall with the trainings that you've seen this week and last week um, and just trust the process. What I'm going to be showing you today is honestly totally underwhelming. If I look at the four points I'm showing you, um, it is insane that it is steps like this that have helped me build a multi six figure business. Um, this is why, you know, it's just the processes like this that have created a booming business for me. And so take these things, apply them to your business and let it change your life because you came into this for a reason and you can bring that reason to life as long as you just trust the trainings that are that are provided to you. Um, so I have four tips. And again, I know some of you are veteran coaches and some of you are probably new coaches. So I'm going to start with the most basic of basic tips in terms of um, Facebook and expanding your network and then kind of go to um, some of the more, I guess, advanced, which is still pretty underwhelming. Uh, but first off, um, Let's talk about the importance of expanding your network. If you are a new coach, actually it doesn't matter if you're a new or a veteran coach, if you come in and you do not begin expanding your network, your well is going to go dry. You are going to have no new people to talk to in the future if you don't start expanding your network today. So expand your network by three people every day. That is it. Um, Shelly, you're killing me. Um, expand your network by three people every day. Um, and that isn't hard to do, right? This literally takes like two seconds. It doesn't take any time at all. So this is something everybody should be doing because it's literally a click and it's done. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to show you how to kind of track this and how to form relationships with these people in a very simplistic manner because these people are going to start watching your story. So the importance of sharing your story over and over and over again on Facebook, right? I'm always sharing my story kind of over again, maybe in a new way, but it's because every day I'm adding new people who have never seen my story before and I want them to hear my story. So I am going to continuously share my story. So the first way, this is how I started when I was kind of a new coach and I was very nervous about, oh, who was I going to add? I started with kind of my warm networks friends. So like many of you, we have friends that we see all the time that are friends of friends, but we never add them on Facebook. So this was the case with me. I knew all these people through my husband or through my best friend, but I was not Facebook friends with them. So I began adding them. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is. Switch this around. So if you are um, new to Facebook, just getting started. So I'm on my husband's profile right now. And so I went and I clicked on his friends. And under his friends, it's going to show you all of these things. But under more, it's going to show you people you may know. So this is a perfect place for any new coach to start because you probably already know these people. So honestly, you're going to see a lot of um, men on here because I frequently go through and add the women. <laughs> so there are not too many women at this point that I haven't friended from his friends list. Look, I just added three friends. That's literally how easy it is. So I, I started this as a new coach with my husband, and I also would do the same thing with my 
good girlfriends. So the reason why I like this technique is because since it's my husband or if I go to like my best girlfriends who are not beach body coaches, by the way, these people are not beach body coaches. So I go to, to people I may know through them because most of these people are going to be like-minded. They're going to share the same interests as me. They're going to share a similar background as me. So there's a better chance that I'm going to genuinely connect with these people than just random strangers. I find other places, but I do find random strangers as well. But I like doing this technique because I know usually I'm going to have something in common. It's a good quality person, somebody that um, you know, I share similar similarities with. So again, I know that's pretty underwhelming, but isn't that cool how underwhelming it is? That's how underwhelming, like that is how I started growing an awesome business right there. So it's super simple. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to track this in just a minute too, how I track this because I am a disorganized mess. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I track this. I am friending, uh, Mickey, I'm friending from my personal page currently, and I'll talk about my life page as we go on. So the next way, I'm going to, crazy tripod, makeshift tripod right here. Oh, hold on. Okay, so the next way that I find like-minded people, because, and I do say like-minded, you guys, this is going to be so much more fun for you if you're attracting people who you genuinely want to be friends with, um, that you genuinely want to hang out with. And that is why I love my team is because these are women who I connect with when I see them at Summit, when I see them on my retreats, I'm pumped up to hang out with them. Um, so the next way that I expand my list is groups. And I'm going to show you how I do this strategically. So first, think of all the things that are you and join groups that are similar to that. So for me, you know, I'm in some fitness groups, like just some generic fitness groups. I'm in a bikini competitors group, um, travel. So I'm in a travel group, um, dog moms. I'm in a trying to conceive group. So anything that's kind of like relevant to my life. If you are a mom, I'm going to tell you right now, I do feel like you guys got to have the upper hand in this group thing because there's so many mom groups out there. So use that. I'm going to tell you how I use these groups strategically because I'm not going into these groups and being like, hey, I'm a beach body coach. Hit me up. That is probably going to send everybody running if I do that. Okay? So that's not what I do in these groups. When I join these groups, I make it my goal to add value in the groups. I want them to see me as someone who is a cheerleader for them. So if it's in a fitness group, right, and someone is posting, like, something about their fitness journey, I'm going to go cheer them on. I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm a Beachbody coach. You should join my challenge group. I'm going to go like, hey, good, good job, girl. If she posts, a, you know, that she, she did something good or if she posts that she's struggling, I'm going to give her encouragement. I'm going to become her friend and cheer her on in these groups. And then I am going to friend those individuals who I feel like I connect with. Additionally, uh, in addition to this, I'm going to add value to the group that I'm in. So I'm going to give you some specific examples and things that have worked really well for me. Um, so in the travel group, for instance, I traveled last year um, all over the world. And one thing that was important for me when I went to Europe was that I found shoes that were comfortable. I mean, I spent hours researching shoes and sandals and trying to find something cute and cozy because it had to be both. <laughs> I was not getting ugly shoes. Um, <laughs> so in the travel group, I, I can post the shoes that I found because they are pretty dang cute. So it's easy to like post those shoes and say like, Hey, I spent a lot of time researching shoes. Like here are the ones that I found. I love them. And I got them on sale or I, I found a coupon for them. Now here's the thing guys. I don't want to give them too much information. Okay. Here's the kicker. I don't want to give them too much information. I'm going to plant the seed and just let it simmer and grow because I want them to say, what kind of shoes are they? Right? So I'm, I might post like a picture where they can't see what they are exactly, but I'm not going to give them the brand. Um, I'm not going to tell them where I got them. I'm not going to tell them the price. I'm not going to tell them if they were on sale because I want them to ask. Right? So I'm going to tell them something super awesome 
like, these are the best shoes I've ever got. They're super comfortable. And I got these insoles to go with them. And it was just amazing because it really was. And then I'm just going to leave that bomb there because they're going to ask. They're going to say, what kind of shoes are they? Where did you get them from? How much did they cost? And that's what I want because then what I'm gonna, going to do, I'm not going to answer those questions on the feed. I'm going to say, hey, I sent you a friend request. I'll send you all the details to your inbox. I'm starting a personal conversation with them in the inbox. Because if I do it on the wall, it's going to stay at a shallow level, right? So if I'm like, hey, girl, I just sent you a friend request. I have all the details about these shoes, and I even have a few places that are that have them on sale right now or whatever, if, I, if that's real, if I can find them on sale. Um, because then when I send them a message in their inbox, I'm going to give them this information, but I'm also going to be like, hey, where are you traveling to? And that's going to allow me to get to know them better. That's going to allow a, a genuine conversation to come from it, okay? So... That's one example, you know, for travel, but you can use that in any situation. And that's where I'm saying like with moms, there are so many mom tips out there that you guys have um, that are easy to share with people in your mom group. So think of it like that. Drop that bomb without too much information. So then those conversations, those questions easily come to you. The best post I've ever made for this. So here's my best tip for groups is um, in one of my fitness groups. Again, it was and actually it, was, it might have been a bikini competition group. I posted my transformation, and I just posted my transformation. I might have had like a motivational saying like "Let's kill this" or something, or maybe I was like "I'm six weeks out from my bikini competition." I don't know. It was just something generic with a transformation photo. If you have a transformation, use this. And actually, you don't even have to have the transformation either. I'll talk about it another way. But so I, I dropped my transformation photo in there, and I was like, six weeks after my bikini competition, I'm so scared but so excited. And um, because my transformation is a transformation, everyone was like, whoa, what did you do? And there was probably like 60 comments on there, like, how did you transform your body like that? Again, here is the kicker. Wait for it. I did not say, beach body, I'm a beach body coach, I'm starting a challenge group. I didn't do that. On each message, I responded to them, and then I started saying this in all of them. I said, oh, I just, you know, like, portioned eating and working out 30 minutes a day, and I didn't even go into that much detail, but I said to them, I sent you a friend request, and I'm happy to share my meal plan with you. So from that very second, I was giving them something of value. I was giving them my meal plan. And once people said, because on the thing, I'd be like, hey, girl, send me a friend request. There was, like, so many people I couldn't even keep up. I was like, send me a friend request and a message, and I'll send you my meal plan. So everyone started sending me a friend request and sending me a message, and I sent them my meal plan and started that generic, like, real conversation with them. Not generic, an authentic conversation. So you can do that. You can do this in so many ways. Just get creative. If you're a mom, you can be, like, Happy Flex Friday. I'm so excited. I finally lost the 20 pounds baby weight or something like that. Like, you don't have to post an, an, a transformation photo, too. You can literally just say, I'm finally into size twos. This is the best day or fours or sixes or whatever. Like, numbers attract people. So if you say, I finally lost that 10 pounds I was pushing for, pushing for another 10 without a photo, people are going to say, how did you lose 10 pounds? And then you're not going to be like, I'm a beach body coach. Join my group. You're going to be like, let me send you a recipe. Let me send you a meal plan. Um, you're going to get to know them. And that's going to start a real relationship that you can then, it's going to blossom and grow. grow okay? So that is how I utilize groups. I want to become like the person in the group that's a cheerleader, um, that's giving people value. Yes, Patricia, I have a meal plan from 21 Day Fix that I created. Like, it's on a Google Doc, so it's just a Google Doc that I have, and I just send them, like, here's what my meal plan looks like. And then I ask them, like, how much weight are you trying to lose? And then from there, like, one, they're my friend now, so they can't see I'm a Beachbody coach, but I'm not, like, telling them or rushing or forcing anything, so they're, they don't feel like they're being sold to because I'm not really turning around and trying and selling them anything. I'm just talking to them at this point. Um, so, um, that is how I utilize groups. Okay, 
So next I'm going to talk about free groups. Running, I'm not going to go into details of free groups, but I'm going to talk about strategies if you do run free groups to expand your network. And then I'm going to talk about like pages. So in terms of um, if you run free groups and if you do not have a very big warm market right now, free groups are probably something you need to make sure that you are doing to expand your market. Um, I'm happy. I'm not going to train you on free groups. Katie Ursta actually has a bomb free group, group training on YouTube that I'll drop in the comments here. Shout out to Katie for that. Um, and uh, I think this is on her video as well. But so if you are running a free group, right, and a lot of you advertise for your free groups on your personal page or on your live page, and you probably say, if you want to join, let me know. Stop doing that. You're wasting a huge network opportunity. Whenever I have free groups, I say, if you want to join, tag three friends. You see how easy that, that is? Now you have a connection to three new people, and people will do it. People will do it. And I make it a requirement for my free groups, and I'll message them and say, hey, if you want to be in this group, I need you to tag three friends. Like, I'm going to give you so much awesomeness in this free group. All you have to do is tag three friends. So I use this on my personal page and on my like page. Um, and so they will tag their friends. I can friend their friends. I can friend their send their friends a message saying like, hey, Sally thought that you'd want to be in this free group. Do you want to join? And they say yes. And then kind of depending on how I feel. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, tag three friends. But most of the time, if I'm just getting to know those people, they can get in without tagging three friends. But you could take it to that level of, okay, tag a friend and you can be in. So that is like such an easy way to grow your market very fast and quickly. And then they are becoming part of your free group where you're going to give them value as a coach and they're going to see what you have to offer as a coach and that's going to help so much just right there. So uh, that is just, you could do the same thing. I see people um, who will post like a, a, a photo of food that they made and they'll be like, if you want it, let me know. Or like, if you want it, drop your name, drop a comment below. How about if you want this recipe, tag a friend and I'll send you the recipe to your inbox. Super easy. And then when they tag their friend, you can be like, Hey, Sally, just on the comment, Sally, you want me to send you this recipe too? And then now Sally is your friend and you sent Sally the recipe in her inbox. Boom. You have expanded your market. So just think about ways to just ask people to tag friends. Number one, they're doing their friend a favor by hooking them up with you. They're going to get a recipe or meal plan or whatever it is. So don't be scared to ask people to tag their friends. They will do that, especially for a free group or a recipe. Um, all right. And then lastly, um, so the first three things I just told you guys, so underwhelming, right? Like so underwhelming. That is the easiest way to grow your market. Always have, have people on there. And guess what? None of that costs any money. How cool is that? So, um, the like page. So I started growing my like page back in 2014 when I was a new coach. Here's what I will say about like pages. They have changed so much. They have changed so much, and I am not a like page expert. I really have no clue what I'm doing, but how cool is it that I have zero idea what I'm doing, and I'm still a successful coach, okay? So I get by however I get by, but most of the time it has not been my like page. Um, but I did invest in a like page training last year with Jesse Reagan, and I didn't actually even get through the entire thing. Um, but I did figure out how to run a like ad to get people to like my page. Um, and I don't even know how to do that anymore. I'm not even running that anymore. But at the time I was, and so what I would do when people liked my page is I would send them a friend request and I would send them a message that said, thank you for liking my page, get ginger fit. Um, I appreciate the support. And, I, and then I would go on to say, I'm always looking for ways to better my page. Is there any content you are interested in seeing more of? So right off the bat, I'm not saying, hey, let me help you lose weight. I'm saying, hey, what can I add to my page that's going to help you? Like I'm asking them how I can help them better just from content on my page. I want to give to them. So 
that's how I use my life page. Um, and again, that has been a very, that's actually been probably the smallest piece of my networking is my like page. So I'm not going to put a lot of emphasis on that. Um, if you want to grow a like page, which I absolutely think it's a great idea, you also have to commit to the time and the investment to learn how to do that because this is a business and that's something that business owners should do. Um, I cannot get into it because again, I'm not the expert and I would not be helpful in that area. Um, but that is so just so you do know how I do my like page to converting them to a friend and that message and that's how I do that. Um, and then, thank you, someone just remind me, how do I track all these people um, when they are becoming my friends? I'm going to show you how to do that. So, you guys should see how I have my tripod right now. It's actually a pencil. Okay, so, new coaches. You guys need to do what I'm about to show you. Because when you're here in three years and when you have a huge network um, and when you're leading a huge team, all you are ever going to see is coach stuff, right? And that doesn't help you when you're trying to build relationships with non-coaches. So what I do is I use the list feature on Facebook, okay? So under explore, where did it go? I had it pulled up. Oh, yeah. I always skip right over it. Under Explore, there is a friends list feature, okay? So this friends list, and then um, I kind of, sometimes I break it down into one month or two months, but you can create a list, right? So you can create friends list. So like, for example, January, February friends. These are my friends from January and February. So when I click on here, look, I can quickly go through and see who I connect with and honestly see who I don't connect with and then I'm going to unfriend them if like they are totally not my type of person if they're like dropping F-bombs all over Facebook and negative Nancy like all the time forever and like maybe isn't someone who's, who's going to be in my tribe someday, I might just unfriend them. Um, but then I can scroll through here. I can comment. I can like, like how, how exciting is this? Like Kayla's having a baby, finding out her baby's sex tomorrow. Like that's super exciting. What's your guess? So like, um, I have those friends list and that's an easy way to quickly scroll and connect because that's how I, that's how I like to build relationships, um, is through more of like looking at their um, Facebook, commenting on their Facebook, liking their stuff, and then um, from there, I'll send them messages if something is honestly authentic. Like, if I feel compelled, like, one girl I saw, she was losing her job, so I reached out to her and just like, hey, I saw you're going through this. Um, but I send messages to build that relationship when it's real, when I feel like it's a real connection. I'm not... I don't send a lot of beating around the bush messages um, in, in that regard. So let me see what questions you guys had. And if you have more. Um, how do I respond when they don't comment at all but like the promo post for a free group? Um, I could send them a message. I've sent them messages before, like, hey, I saw you like that. Did you want to be part of it? And just see what they say. Some people, like, don't really like tagging friends, and if they're, like, super turned off by that, they can still be in the group. So just send them a message and be like, hey, I saw that you like my post about such and such. Did you want to be part of this group? And then if they say yes, I'll be like, do you mind tagging three friends or a few friends? And if they're like, meh, then I'll be like, okay, well, I'll let you in anyways. Not really that big of a deal. Um, no, I, someone asked about the meal plan. I give them like my lifestyle based plan when I send meal plans. So anything very like lifestyle based, cause that's kind of my normal method of operation. Um, 
So someone asked, how long do you wait until you send them a private message or you just wait for them to comment on one of your posts? I usually go, like I said, and I, I go and like and comment on their Facebook profile because I want them to see me liking and commenting on their stuff before I ever talk to them about anything else, right? Okay. Alrighty. You know, my, my Facebook is my business. So when I started this, I knew that my Facebook is my marketplace. So my Facebook is absolutely public. My Instagram is public. Um, everything is public. So if you have posts about kids, I would have, I would have a public Facebook and then make your kids posts private. But I would absolutely like, this is how we grow our business. Um, so I would 100% say your Facebook needs to be public. And if you're posting things about your kids, then make that post private. But otherwise, your Facebook should be, in my opinion, public. Um, Angel, I'll, I will post a, a training on free groups in the comments, but I'm definitely, that's a whole different can of worms. And Katie's, Katie's training is awesome. So 